from Target Field in Minneapolis. Sunday baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Minnesota Twins. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Coming up on the first pitch and on the hill, Bailey Ober. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, a man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Whit Merrifield in the box now. No balls and a strike. And a pitch. Oh. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for strike three. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Up to the plate, it's Brandon Belt. First pitch, oh, just up. misses. Out to short. On the run, throw to first. And yeah, they get Belt for the out. Batting third, the shortstop. Bo Two Bichette. outs, base is empty. Bo Bichette up to the dish. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. First pitch, not close. Way high. Two and out. Close, but That's call the ball. the ball. Ball three. That's yeah. a strike. Three one. On the ground to short. Tosses across the first. Third out. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. And now the Twins will go to work on offense. We've got no score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back in Minnesota. And our pitcher in this game, Kevin Gossman. His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. And now for the Twins, Donovan Solano. For the Twins. The third baseman. Kevin Gosman hails from Colorado, but he played his college ball at LSU. He was the fourth overall pick in the 2012 draft. Made his debut at 22 years old in 2013, and he has gotten himself through a lot. One gone bottom half of the first. Second, the designated hitter, Christian. So here's Christian Vasquez. Vasquez. Yeah, and coming through the minor leagues, he was expected to be the number one starter for the Baltimore Orioles and never quite lived up to that billing, but continued to fight ups and downs, persevered, and after two free agent deals, he finally became an all-star. A one down. Slow roller to third. Espinal. The throw to first. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Batting third. The shortstop. Kyle, Kyle Farmer up to the plate now. Farmer. In there for strike one. Get out of here, Blue Jay. 
Ball one there. Next pitch misses. Two and one. And there's the strike. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Down go the Twins in order. Scoreless after one. Back at Target Field. And now the rookie second baseman, number 36. Davis Schneider. Over back to work. And that one ripped to left and foul ball. Swings through that one for strike two. Our umpire for this one, Freddie Ferguson. A consistent umpire by all accounts. Yeah, I think the book on him is that he's not necessarily by the book with his strike zone. But once you figure out where he's calling strikes, you can pretty much count on him to stay with that throughout the game. He's begging. Give me that pitch one more time. A hanging changeup just out in front. Popped up on the left side of the infield. Solano calls it in, and there's one away. That is good. The first baseman, number eight. Kevin Biggio. Biggio up to the plate. And that's in there for strike one. Nowadays with advanced metrics and increased use of moving the infielders around, defense isn't necessarily about making errors. Are you able to get to the ball? Are you able to position fielders where guys hit the ball, but within the new shift rules? That's off the mark. Now one and two. In an area that goes unnoticed is the coach that's responsible for positioning and then uh, the research person that's providing the information. So what we're seeing in baseball, so many more people behind the scenes that are contributing to the success between the lines. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. Santiago Espino stands in here, takes ball one low. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just ball. going off of gut or feel. What does it look like his swing is today? What's the pitcher throwing? They are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter, regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound. Next offering upstairs. Down the middle for a strike. Three and one. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing later on in the game. That may be a pitch that he turns on. That one hit to right. Diving. Gets down. Could be extra bases. Here comes Biggio around third. Throw is offline, and he scores. And it's one nothing. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. And now it's Dalton Varsho. Inside corner for a strike. 0-1. Late that time, oh, and it's strike two. Go, 
Varsho. Checks his swing. Appeal to third. No swing. Eric Summerskill with the call. The one two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now the switch hitting catcher, Tyler Heineman. That's a base hit as a run scores. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Cameron Eden next up for the Blue Jays. That's in for a strike. Heineman, the runner at first with two gone. The pitch. Base hit, center field. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Now batting, right fielder. With Whit Merrifield up to the plate. Went down on strikes his first time through. That just misses. And it's 1-0. Oh. And a pitch. One and one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. And yeah, that's a little bit high. Two balls and a strike. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Slapped foul. Two and two. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But two runs for him and they jump ahead. We go to the bottom of inning number two. Blue Jays two and the Twins nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Batter now, Jorge Polanco. The second baseman. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that oh, shutdown oh, inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And yeah, the right hater back to work. Right. That one in there across the letters. Hey, That's right. in there. That is strike two. There's a ball. That's down. High fly ball out towards left field. Eden going back. Back some more. And off the base of the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Good two strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. So close to blasting that one out of here the other way, but that's very tough to do when you take on the outfield gap like that. Beautiful swing, though. Let the ball get a little deep and drove it to the opposite field. Ryan Jeffers at the plate. And ball one. Oh, there you go, Ryan. Come on. Righty delivers. It looked like it was a little bit up. Two balls, no strikes. That's in there. 
Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss there. Two and two to count. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. And now it's 3 and 2. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Popped up. And there's one away. That is good. The center fielder, Number 47, Julia. the next twin up to hit. Foul ball. Now the 0-1. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, well, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. This is Willie Castro. And that one fouled off. And the 01. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Twins wind up stranding one, and they're down two nothing. And welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And now to the plate, here's the Toronto DH. Brandon Bell. Bell goes six feet, three inches, 34-year-old vet. And he's usually a first baseman, but today he's the designated hitter. Pitch misses, ball one. Some people say that first baseman kind of have the day off regularly because they don't run around a whole lot. But when you think about it, they are involved in just about every single play, and there's a lot of stress that gets put on their legs. So a well-deserved day at the DH spot for him. And there's a curve through for a strike. In the air, left field. That one gets down for a hit. Now he'll turn it for second. And he's there with a leadoff double. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. And next for Toronto, Bo Bichette grounded out his first time. That right. one's in there, 0-1. Kicks and deals. Hammered down the right side, but foul. Bell leads off second with nobody out. And a liner out into right center for a base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Run comes in from second. It's three zip. And he's got a double. 
Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Now the Toronto four hole hitter, number 36. First time up was a pop out. Late swing, fouled off. Runner at second, nobody out. Check on the runner. Bichette to dive back in. The 0 1. And that one is lifted in the air. Drops in for a hit, couldn't run it down. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners. Nobody out. That's now three hits in a row for the offense. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Check swing, no appeal. Ball one. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Right field down the line, and that one slices down. Ball to strike. And a big swing and a miss. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. The one two. And downstairs. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Espinal at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. First and third, one down. So two balls and no strikes. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. The 2-0 is in for a strike. pitch and delivers outside Count is full. runners are at the corners one away foul we'll see another payoff pitch great swing and solid contact just a little too quick he's got to stay back a little longer the 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Base is loaded with one away. Dalton Varsho getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Some movement in the Twins' bullpen. Louis Varlin appears to be getting loose. Paddock getting cranked up as well. Next pitch is outside. Pressure's on right here. 2-0 count. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three-ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Good hitters count the 2-0. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Down the line towards the corner. And it's caught. Both runners tagging from second and third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly, and they lead by four. Well, he'll take the sack fly on the mound right there. Base is loaded. I mean, this is a high leverage situation, and if you can limit the other team, you're doing pretty good work. See if he can get this next out. 
Tyler Heineman next up for the Blue Jays. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. In yeah. there for strike one. Well, in an 0 count, oh not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. And a base hit up the middle. Runner from third comes across. It's 5 0. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Rocco Baldelli out of the dugout now, and he's going to make a change. Bailey Ober will depart, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break. On the mound now for the Twins, Louis Varlin. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. And now for the Jays, Cameron Eden. Foul ball there. You'll want. Outside, ball. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. That one two, misses. Two. two balls, two strikes. Out to short. Farmer. They get the force. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. So they get three runs, four hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Blue Jays five and the Twins nothing. As we go to the last of the third. And now the first baseman, Alex Kirilov. Kirilov. Gosman back to work. Now fly ball to right center. Merrifield in pursuit. Puts it away for the out. Batting ninth. The right fielder. Matt. And now Matt Walmer. there and it's 0 and 1. Now one and one. That's the ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss as he was late. and misses it's a strikeout that's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across especially in terms of now movement I mean that thing tumbles baseman. out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last so moment if he keeps it down it's just so tough to put wood on back to the leadoff spot in the twins lineup and here's the Twins leadoff guy, Donovan Solano. That one's in there. Strike one. Solano hitting leadoff in today's game. And he's a former Silver Slugger recipient in the National League. At the belt and fires. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Ahead 0-2 in the count, sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. Right-hander kicks deals. That's a little bit low. One and two. Minnesota! 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Inning over. Twins are set down one, two, three. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. Out of the fourth. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, Whit Merrifield. Whit Merrifield. The pitch. That's in there. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. And that's downstairs oh. and outside. That's a strike. The next pitch misses the and a count 2 and 1. That one missed. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no one. panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Swing and a miss. And now it's 3-2. and two. Well, they've clearly been trying to work him away and to change it up with a good pitch on the inside. Nice execution. That'll definitely keep him honest. Line to left, and that's a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now, Brandon Bell. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Kicks and fires. Oh. Yeah, the one two oh, misses out. to even the count. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. Got it by him for the K. Oh, just a little cut fastball no, on the inside part of the plate and couldn't get the barrel oh, to it at all. Sure. Just kind of tied him up there right under the hands. Tells me he's probably looking soft away and just wasn't able to adjust. Wow. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. And the righty deals. And there's a foul ball. Varley checks on first. Merrifield dives back in. Merrifield stands at first with one out. That misses. And a count two and one. Back to back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. And that's outside. Oh, Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back to back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Merrifield on the move. Pitch is low. Throw there. Safe. Clearly not content with the lead they're working with right now, and I like that. I don't think you can get comfortable with a five-run lead in today's game, and now they've got a good chance of adding on.
Pickoff moved to second. Merrifield dives back in. Two outs and one in scoring position. Swing and a miss. Strike one. one. one strike. Wow, no fair right there. I mean, that slider didn't move till the very last moment. Incredibly difficult to pick that up. Just kind of have to tip your cap on that pitch. Next offering is in for a strike. Don't give up the run. And another oh. ball. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Kirilov makes the play, and that's out number three. Blue Jays held in check, but they hold a 5-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the fourth, Christian Vasquez, the hitter. The designated hitter. The right-hander back to work. That clips a corner. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there on the mound. That misses the zone, and it's a ball and a strike. And a pitch. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Foul ball still a one and two count. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Kyle Farmer, the next to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. Farmer. Let's go, Twins. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Not sure if he could be in more of a groove. Looks really relaxed. He's retired seven straight. This guy's feeling it right now. Boots it. Throw to first, gets him. Good job to stay with it there for the second out. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Polanco, doubled in his first A.B. And that one fouled off. Two down, nobody on. And that one wrapped foul. Bounce to the right. Biggio takes it himself, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. Twins retired in short order. It's 5-0. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Kevin Biggio. The wind and the pitch. That yeah. clips the corner. Well, these Jays putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me the like they really wanted to get to the starter early, one one. get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. Next offering is in for a strike. Set down on strikes. Strike three called on a slider at the knees. Tunneled that pitch. Thought it was going to be a slider breaking in off the plate, but it hugged the corner. And at that point, when he recognized it, it was just too late.
now here is Santiago Espinal. Clips the corner. Strike one. Good eye right That's there. Ball. One ball, two strikes. Next pitch has popped up. He's there. He's got it. Two down. The center field, number 25, Dalton Borgo. So up next for Toronto, Dalton Varsho. And first offering is fouled off. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Blue Jays go down in order as they are unable to add to their 5-0 lead. Back in Minnesota, bottom of the go. inning, Northern and now Twins. the Twins catcher, Ryan catcher. Jeffers. Ryan Jeffers. Let's go, Twins. The pitch. And it's fouled away. Well, these twins just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup one, one. capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Now batting. Center fielder. Dominant Edward. performance for him today, Boog. Julia. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Man at first, number 47. The next twin up to hit. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. in there for strike one. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. They say it went. No ball. Two strikes. Pitch misses no, there. Missed, and the count ball. one and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Next pitch downstairs, ball, ball. two and two. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Two two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Two two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. Well, he's on a great run of strikeouts and showing excellent control and command, not walking opposing batters. You know, this offense, they've got to find a way to break his rhythm, put the bat on the ball, maybe try to bunt for a base hit, get him off the mound, moving around, step out, something to interrupt his timing because he's coming right after these guys. Pulls that one foul. Jeffers, the base runner at first with one out. Misses inside, and now it's even one and one. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him nope. up a little ball. bit so he doesn't have as much outside ball, plate coverage. Strike. The 2-1. 
Nope, ball. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. Swing and a miss. Three and two now. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Double play ball to second. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Here's Alex Kirilov. That yeah. one finds the zone. That's strike oh one. And yeah, that's a little oh. bit high. One and one. Left hand hitter waits. Grounder off the pitcher. And no chance for him to make the play. Let's just hope he's all right. Catcher coming out to check on him. It looked like it got him on his back leg. So you wonder if that might be a problem for him in terms of pushing off the rubber. Yeah, it's a great point, and we'll have to see how he looks. But to me, it appears he's moving pretty well. I think it's just going to sting for a while, but hopefully nothing more. And next for Minnesota, Matt Walmer. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Fastball in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Two outs. That one finds the corner. No balls, two strikes. There's a swing and a drive. Varsho going back, back some more, back some more. And he brings it into the warning track. And welcome back. Here's the catcher, Tyler Heineman. Varlin back to work. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And that one, one ball, is one inside strike. ball one. Activity in the bullpen. Kenta Maeda warming up for manager Rocco Baldelli. Luplo warming up as well. That one off oh. the mark. And it's two and one. And the right hander deals. And that one missing low. 3 1. And that's in for a strike. Full count. Payoff pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Walner on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Cameron Eden. Now the left fielder, Cameron Eden. One for two. Good eye right there. One and out. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. one. And the pitch. Five, two. And that two skips in the dirt. Three. Sends him down on strikes. 
He's got to be frustrated with that call. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but right, the pitcher will take that all day long. With Not quite in the strike minute. zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Digging in, Whit Merrifield. That's in there. Strike one. Next offering is foul back. Outside. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. The other way. That's a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Up next to the Blue Jays, the designated hitter. Now Brandon it's the Toronto designated Bell. hitter, Brandon Bell. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. Merrifield leads off first with two down to the inning. Merrifield on the move. Next offering is fouled back. Up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. That's the third out. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors and one left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Blue Jays five and the Twins nothing. Back here at the ballpark, John Shelby with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading the off the bottom of the sixth, Donovan oh, Solano. Solano. Come on, Minnesota. And here it comes. Flips the corner. 0-1. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Grabs it on the run. And a quick out number one. That's a really nice play ranging no back number into the eight. outfield for that catch. We all know hitter. those could be a Christian. little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Here's Christian Vasquez. Vasquez goes five feet, nine inches, 205 pounds, and he was born in Puerto Rico. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Next offering is in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. He's got it. There's two away. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball the opposite field up into the stands. Farmer stands nope. in with two away oh, as he takes a ball. 1 0. Pitch misses. Oh. And that's ball two. That one misses. That miss. that's and that's ball three. 3 0. And that's ball, ball four. four. Runner, take your base. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. So now it's the four hole hitter, Jorge Polanco. Let's go 
Pitch misses there. And that is ball one. And that drops in for a strike. And now two and one. Two balls, one strike. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So it's no runs, no hits, no errors, and one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Blue Jays five and the Twins nothing. Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Kenta Maeda. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boo. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. And now for the Jays, Obishet. The wind of the pitch. Fouled off left side. And strike two. I went to. And he chases that one. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. You know, Boog, you often think a slider is more for that horizontal movement, but most of the good ones have both vertical depth and that horizontal movement, and that's what we saw right there. Good drop on the break and got him to swing over the top. Number 36 in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Gets the slider in there for a strike. Ground ball right side. Whips it to Kirillov. And two away to start the seven. Good arm side run to that same side hitter right there. Very difficult to put that ball in the air or get through it. Just bores in on the hands. Kevin Biggio next up for the Blue Jays. That one's in there, 0 and 1. There's a strike. He doesn't seem to like to pitch up. Hasn't offered on either one of those pitches. 0 2 count now. I think the guy's going to climb the ladder out there. Left hand batter waits. Fights it off, you'll see another. Got him looking, that's a strikeout. Bottom of the seventh, and now for the Twins, Ryan Jeffers. The catcher. And a pitch. That's towards center. Varsho moving under it. One away. Now batting center fielder. So up next for Minnesota, number 47. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And there's a ball. the ball. One ball, no strike. Let's go, Flynn. Righty delivers. 
Next pitch in for a strike. And a count one and two. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Swung out, belted. Varsho going back on this one. Back some more. And that one is off the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. He was all over that one. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Willie Castro. First pitch, and he just misses. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. The 1-0. Oh. And a swing and a miss. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. You clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Strike two. Struck him out looking. And next for Minnesota, Alex Kirilov. Kirilov. Just oh. missed. The next offering no, misses. That miss. That's the ball. ball two. Right into the plate. Yeah. That one finds the zone. And that's strike one. They say it went. Two balls, two strikes. Two two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Back at target field, ready to begin the eighth. Now the third baseman, Santiago Espinal. pitch ball one no out. strikes Minnesota's bullpen with some action Griffin Jacks is loosening up this would be his first appearance for the club and the 1 0 and fouled off right handed reliever Fought off foul. Fouls it off, still one and two. Tried to check his swing there. Now it appealed to first. And yes, he did. Jill McDonald rings him up. Dalton Varsho next up for the Blue Jays. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. First offering and it just misses. And you play behind guys and they love having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. That one's in there. And the count one and one. Hogan, the one thing about that is 
speed never goes in a slump and defense shouldn't either hitting wise you can struggle you can lose your mechanics but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way and this is what this guy does line drive that's a base hit out of the left center field takes the turn he's digging for second and he's in with a stand up double Really nice job of two strike hitting yeah, in that at bat. Just yeah. a great approach. It looked like that was exactly what he wanted to do with that pitch. And right off the bat, he knew he was taking that wide turn at first to head for second. Man at second with one away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Tyler Heineman. There's a strike. Go and one. Runner at second here, one gone. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. Oh, and two. That misses That's the zone, and it's one and two. I just get the out. Runner leads away at second. Fights that one away, still one and two. Here comes a pitch. And a swing and a miss down on strikes, and there's two away. Well, you always want those pitches back as a hitter. It caught a lot of the zone and definitely not the intended location, but those splitters can dance around and miss a barrel even when they're not perfectly executed. And first offering is fouled off. Varsho at second with two down. Swing and a bouncer. That's out number three. Welcome back. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. And now for the Twins, Matt Walmer. The pitch just no, that missed. Hits, that's the ball. Movement in the Blue Jays bullpen. Chad Green preparing to come on if needed. Swanson getting loose as well. Come on, the 1 0. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Long run. Nice grab. And there's one away. Now batting, third baseman, Donovan. Here's Donovan Solano. Good contact guy, good defender. You can do it, Swim, yeah! First pitch, no, just ball. misses. Come on. Inside corner for a strike. Hit hard, base hit. Around first, heading for two. Throws to second, and that's a double. He got a pitch he could get to out front, kept his bat through the ball, and didn't pull off or roll his hands over. And that allowed him to rip that ball down the line for the double. One out, runner at second. And now it's Christian Vasquez. Oh, yeah. That pitch in for a strike. 0-1. 
Usually when a pitcher's had a dominant outing, he has filled up the strike zone and he's gotten ahead in the count with first pitch strikes. Well, that's exactly what this guy has done in this one. Over 70% first pitch strikes. Next one nope. misses. Ball. One and two to count. It's a good take. One and two. I'm looking for the K. Kyle Farmer, the next twin up to hit. Kyle Farmer. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Man at second. He swings and fouls one off. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Next pitch misses. Going to count one and two. That one to first. Biggio takes it to the bag. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Coming out of the bullpen for the Twins, Jordan Luplo. This is his third time out this year. Jordan. Luplo. Now here's the leadoff man for the Blue Jays, Whit Merrifield. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Luke Lowe in his fifth season. He features a four seam fastball, a sinker, and he occasionally uses a curve. Down Next low. offering is down low. That's a little oh, bit low. low. That one fouled off. And now two and two. And misses inside. Gets a piece and stays alive. Three two. In the air to left center. Number 47 turns to the right on the move. Brings it in with a nice running grab. And there's one down. Now the number two hitter, Brandon Bell. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Movement in the bullpen, Griffin Jacks, the young right-hander, up and throwing. Kicks and fires. Two balls, no strikes to count. That one missed. Here's a 3 0. And now 3 and 1. That smash towards center. Takes it in for the out. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just now frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Two outs, base is empty. 
Here's the shortstop at the play. Bobichet. And yeah, the first offering is not close. And a foul ball. The one one is fouled off. On the ground. Solano fires to first on the run. And the Blue Jays go down one, two, three. Bottom of the ninth coming up, and we'll see if he can complete the shutout after the break. Jad Green gets the call from the pen. He's been so good against lefties. Number 37, Chad Green. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Jorge Polanco. The second baseman. The pitch. Ball one there. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. That hits the dirt. Now 2 0. Oh. Not showing great command so far in this at bat. 2 0 oh count. He's got to execute here, or this could get ugly. And a pitch. That one pushed to the left and foul. Next offering oh. misses. And a count is three and one. Right. There's a strike. Count is full. Belton fires and it's ball, ball four. four he Finger missed base. down low what a battle it's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch and I tell you what he earned that walk so a man aboard and here's the catcher Brian Jeffers if you're gonna get something going this is the time to do it you get the leadoff man on everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say I'm just gonna keep the line moving don't try to do too much there's a strike that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation, runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. The 0-1. They say it went. No balls, two strikes. And he deals. And that one missing low. low. O2 curve right there. Hitter kind of expects that. And good job of just showing that confidence and trying to get back into this count. Kicks and deals. Just That's missed the, the inside corner. Two balls, two strikes. Polanco gets his lead at first with nobody out. Jeffers tries to hold up, appeal to first, didn't go. Could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. 
Right hander kicks deals. Stays alive. Well, he gave up on that pitch early, and it ended up staying in the zone. I'm sure he's kicking himself and would like that pitch again. 3-2. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched now him bad. up on Center the inside fielder. part of the plate. Hey, Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Julian. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Foul ball. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. And the right-hander deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Merrifield gets under it. Two down. Now batting left fielder, Willie. And this is Cabrera taking them out. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Cabrera. So two down now, and here is Willie Castro, a switch hitter batting right. And first offering is fouled off. Bounced up the middle. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Blue Jays use three pitchers to combine for the shutout. The number 90 is a big number. You're talking 90 wins over the course of a big league season. Extremely impressive. These guys have worked hard all year long, and they're seeing the fruits of their labor. It's not over yet, though. 5 nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.